Welcome to Wonderslate. Subscribe to our Telegram channel given in the description to updates and study materials. Topic for today's quiz is 25th of April 2019 Current Affairs Part 1. Question number 1. Fire Service Week, FSW, is observed during Option A. April the 14th to the 20th. Option B. April the 15th to the 21st. Option C. April the 16th to the 22nd. Option D. April the 17th to the 23rd. The correct answer is Option A. April the 14th to the 20th. It remembers the lives lost in the devastating fire that erupted at the Victoria Dock in the Bombay port on 14th of April, 1944. Since 1999, the National Safety Council, NSC, has been promoting the FSW campaign. Question number 2. Is celebrated as National Panchayati Raj Divas every year. Option A. April 22nd. Option B. April 24th. Option C. April 26th. Option D. April 28th. The correct answer is Option B. April 24th. This day marks the passing of the Constitution Act, 73rd Amendment, 1992. Dean Dayalupadhyay Panchayat Sashakti Karan Puraskar, Dupsp, Nanaji Desh Mukharashtriya Gaurav Gram Sabha Puraskar, Gram Panchayat Development Plan, GPDP, award are given on this day. Question number 3. Who was recently named as Brand Ambassador of Indo-American Arts Council, IAAC? Option A. Sid Kapoor. Option B. Hemant Bajwa. Option C. Vikas Khanna. Option D. Resh Mamunjal. The correct answer is. Option C. Vikas Khanna, a leading cultural organization. Indo-American Arts Council, IAAC, named Michelin star chef Vikas Khanna as its brand ambassador. The Equal present the New York Indian Film Festival. The festival centerpieces photograph, which is directed by Ritesh Batra. Question number 4. He Shrivinay Kumar, ambassador of India presented 100 motorized wheelchairs to Option A. Afghan National Army. Option B. South African Army. Option C. Bangladesh Army. Option D. Kenya Defense Forces. The correct answer is. Option A. Afghan National Army. India also remains committed to extending medical relief. Indian Army has also trained 4,880 personnel so far. This is to alleviate the challenges and sufferings of some of the critically injured Afghan National Army. Question number 5. Who became the first Italian to win an ATP Masters 1000 title? Option A. Fabio Fognini. Option B. Dushan Lajevic. Option C. Gustavo Curte. Option D. Andrei Rublev. The correct answer is Option A. Fabio Fognini. Over the past 17 events at the elite level, Fognini is the eighth player to win his first Masters 1000 title. Question number 6. Chinese Language Day is celebrated on globally. Option A. April 19th. Option B. April 20th. Option C. April 21st. Option D. April 22nd. The correct answer is Option B. April 20th. The date was chosen to pay tribute to Kang Jie, a mythical figure. It's presumed that about 5,000 years ago, he invented Chinese characters. It is worth mentioning that the UN has six official languages Arabic, Chinese, English, French. Russian, and Spanish. Question number 7. 
Supreme Court recently ordered which state government to pay communal riots victim, Bill Kisiakub Rasool, compensation of 50 lakh rupees, a government job and housing, option A, Telangana, option B, Gujarat, option C, Andhra Pradesh, option D, Kerala. The correct answer is Option B. Gujarat, Bill Kisbano was gang raped during the 2002 Gujarat riots. Even several members of her family were killed by a mob at Randikpur village. The bench was led by Chief Justice of India Ranjan Gogoi. Question number 8. The country's pharmaceutical exports rose to $19.2 billion in 2018-19, according to the data of Commerce Ministry. Option A. 8%. Option B. 11%. Option C. 15%. Option D. 18%. The correct answer is. Option B. 11%. It is worth mentioning that North America constitutes about 30% of Indian pharma exports. It's followed by Africa and the European Union. Over 55% of the country's exports go to highly regulated markets. Question number 9. The government recently extended the ban on import of milk and its products, from which among the following countries? Option A. US. Option B. China. Option C. Russia. Option D. France. The correct answer is Option B. China. It is worth mentioning that India is the world's largest producer and consumer of milk. Sensing the apprehensions of presence of melamine in some milk consignments from China, the ban was imposed. Notably, melamine is a toxic chemical. It is used for making plastics and fertilizers. Question number 10. In coordination with the WHO recently launched the world's first malaria vaccine in a landmark pilot program. Option A. India. Option B. Israel. Option C. France. Option D. Malawi. The correct answer is. Option D. Malawi. Every year. The parasitic disease kills about 4,35,000 people. In the upcoming months, it will also be introduced in Ghana and Kenya. With a serious malaria burden, India ranks very high in the list of countries. Question number 11. Occupy Central with Love and Peace, sometimes seen in the news, took place in which among the following? Option A. Hong Kong. Option B. Moscow. Option C. Tahran. Option D. Re-add. The correct answer is. Option A. Hong Kong. Recently, the three leaders namely Chan Kinman, Benny Tai, and Chu Yu Ming, were handed 16-month sentences. The 2014 Occupy Central demonstrations pushed for full democracy in Hong Kong. Question number 12. UN English Language Day is observed annually on Option A. 21st April Option B. 23rd April Option C. 25th April Option D. 27th April The correct answer is Option B. 23rd April To celebrate the English language and multilingualism it was established by the UNESCO in 2010. It marks the birthday and date of death of William Shakespeare. Question number 13. The interim ban on Chinese-owned TikTok video app has been lifted by which among the following courts? Option A. Delhi HC. Option B. Supreme Court. Option C. Madras HC. Option D. Allahabad HC. The correct answer is 
Option C. Madras H.C. ByteDance has pegged financial losses of up to $500,000 a day. TikTok allows users to create and share short videos with special effects. Question number 14. World Immunization Week takes place every year during Option A. Last week of April. Option B. Second week of May. Option C. Third week of May. Option D. Fourth week of May. The correct answer is Option A. Last week of April. It aims to raise awareness of immunization. The theme for this year's campaign is protected together. Vaccines work. Global vaccination coverage stands at 85%. Question number 15. To isolate Iran economically, the current sanctions waivers to the five nations would expire on Option A. May 2nd. Option B. May 5th. Option C. May 8th. Option D. May 11th. The correct answer is Option A. May 2nd. It is worth mentioning that in November, the US had granted a six month waiver to India, Taiwan, Japan, China, Greece, Italy, Turkey, and South Korea. Notably, India meets more than 80% of its soil needs through imports. Question number 16. Which of the following country has successfully tested the world's first floating nuclear power plant, and PP? Option A. France. Option B. Japan. Option C. India. Option D. Russia. The correct answer is Option D. Russia. Russia has successfully tested the world's first floating nuclear power plant, NPP. Akademik Lomonosov, a subsidiary of Rosatom Nuclear Corporation, stated. Question number 17. Allahabad Bank stated that the government has increased its authorized capital by 5,000 crore to Option A. 10,000 crore. Option B. 8,000 crore. Option C. 7,000 crore. Option D. 3,000 crore. The correct answer is Option B. 8,000 crore. State-owned Allahabad Bank stated that the government has increased its authorized capital by 5,000 crore to 8,000 crore. Question number 18. Which of the following country has announced that it would name a new community in the Golan Heights after U.S. President Donald Trump? Option A. Egypt. Option B. Philistines. Option C. Saudi Arabia. Option D. Israel. The correct answer is Option D. Israel. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has announced that he would name a new community in the Golan Heights after U.S. President Donald Trump, who officially recognized the disputed area as Israeli territory. Question number 19. World number no. 1 Bajrang Punia won gold at Asian Wrestling Championship in China's city. Option A. Chengdu. Option B. Tianjin. Option C. Shanghai. Option D. Shen. The correct answer is Option D. Shen. World number no. one Bajrang Punia won gold at Asian Wrestling Championship in China's Shen. He defeated Kazakhstan's Saitabe Kokosov in a nail biting 65 kg men's freestyle final. Question number 20. The total deposits in Jandhan account are set to cross, soon. Option A. 2 lakh crore rupees. Option B. 1 lakh crore rupees. Option C. 1.5 lakh crore rupees. Option D. 2.5 lakh crore rupees. The correct answer is. Option B. 
1 lakh crore rupees the total deposits in jandhan account are set to cross 1 lakh crore rupees soon on 3rd april the total balance in the jandhan accounts was at 97665 rupees and 66 paise and the total number of jandhan accounts crossed 35.39 crores question number 21 which of the following country has released a special commemorative stamp on the theme of Ramayana to mark the 70th anniversary of the establishment of its diplomatic ties with India? Option A. Thailand. Option B. Indonesia. Option C. Malaysia. Option D. Singapore. The correct answer is Option B. Indonesia. Indonesia has released a special commemorative stamp on the theme of Ramayana to mark the 70th anniversary of the establishment of its diplomatic ties with India. Question number 22. Who among the following has resigned from the post of the Associated Chambers of Commerce and Industry, Asocham, Secretary General? Option A. Uday Kumar Varma. Option B. UK Sinha. Option C. Mukesh Kumar Jain. Option D. Karnam Sekar. The correct answer is Option A. Uday Kumar Varma. Uday Kumar Varma, a former bureaucrat retired from the post of Secretary, Ministry of Information and Broadcasting, resigned from the post of the Associated Chambers of Commerce and Industry, Asocham, Secretary General. Question number 23. National Panchayati Raj Day is celebrated every year on Option A. 21st April. Option B. 22nd April. Option C. 24th March. Option D. 24th April. The correct answer is Option D. 24th April. National Panchayati Raj Day is celebrated every year on 24th April by the Ministry of Panchayati Raj. Question number 24. Who among the following became the first Italian to win an ATP Masters 1000 title at the Rolex Monte Carlo Masters in tennis? Option A. Roger Federer. Option B. Fabio Fognini. Option C. Novak Djokovic. Option D. Rafael Nadal. The correct answer is Option B. Fabio Fognini. Fabio Fognini became the first Italian to win an ATP Masters 1000 title at the Rolex Monte Carlo Masters. He defeated Dusan Lajovic. Question number 25. Headquarters of Allahabad Bank is in Option A. Mumbai. Option B. Allahabad. Option C. New Delhi. Option D. Kolkata. The correct answer is Option D. Kolkata. Headquarters of Allahabad Bank is in Kolkata. Question number 26. Who among the following athletes has won India's first gold medal at Asian Athletics Championships 2019? Option A. Neera Chopra. Option B. Hema Das. Option C. Jinso Johnson. Option D. Gomti Mari Muttu. The correct answer is Option D. Gomti Mari Muttu. Gomti Mari Muttu won India's first gold medal of the Asian Athletics Championships 2019. Finishing the 800 meters final with a personal best timing of 2 colon 20.70s and Tijinder Singh Tour followed it up with a golden men's shot put. Thank you for watching the video. If you'd like practice this quiz then download the Wonderslate app now. Link in the description below. If you have any suggestion for us feel free to leave comments. If you liked the video and want to see more of it hit the thumbs up and don't forget to click on subscribe button to get more updates of the future videos.